What's going on guys? Uh, I have my best KD game I've, I think I've ever had in any Call of Duty. Um, I end up going 52-1 and one with the Moab and I I was really debating whether to post this game because again it's another Moab on Underground but um, it was just such a good gameplay. Me and my friend Detonate actually both get Moabs this game. And you see there, that's my only death. I'm not really sure what that guy was going to do back there with this Claymore. And just, I don't know if he's just going to sit there. But um, the the kids we were playing were terrible. Um, I actually think one of the one of the people one of the people one of the persons I don't know one of the one of the guys we were playing was actually from Australia. I think see us two buying the whole game and actually have a guy that goes <laughs> 0 and 42 on their team so um, these kids were not very good but uh, yeah I go 52 and 1 detonate goes 38 and 1 and um, probably should have saved this gameplay for a dual come with him since he's starting his channel up soon but I wanted to get it out there because it's almost New Year's um, figured I'd bring you guys something right before the turn of the year and uh, I, I actually want to share a story with you guys um, that I that not a lot of people know about me. Um, even in real life, a lot of people don't know what I'm about to tell you. But <clears throat> I'll start off at the beginning. Um, I went to college and for one year, and I didn't realize you know how tough it would be to balance everything that I was doing because I played a sport and I was also uh, majoring in an art I was majoring in graphic design it's an art art course so there was a lot of out of out of class work that I was going to need to be doing and I had no idea that it would it was going to take as much as it would have so I ended up switching my major and um, at the at the end of my first semester, I actually came down with mono mononucleosis. It's just like basically a a blood disease where you just are really tired and uh, it's it sucks. Like you you feel like you can't do anything. Your appetite goes away. It just it really drains you. And that piled on top of the end of semester with finals, um, just didn't work out for me. And I ended up. Um, not passing over half my classes and just because I had it mono can last over a month and that's what it did for me um, so half the time I wasn't able to go to class and uh, I just basically wasn't allowed to do much um, I wasn't allowed to play sports anymore because if you have mono and you get punched in the kidney or you get some sort of physical injury to your back or anything near your kidneys you can actually die so I was really lucky that I caught it as, fa as soon as I did because there's no medical treatment there's no medicine you can take for it it's just you have to just go through it drink a lot of water basically but um, yeah so that sucked and it carried on over to second semester and by the time I was midway through second semester I was already behind just immensely in my classes and I wasn't able to do much so um, I told my parents you know I'm gonna transfer out next year and uh, I had signed up for classes at a community college and it, it it just didn't work out because the dorms got full I wasn't able to get into the dorms and uh, I was gonna have to live on campus and uh, I didn't have any money and my, my dad didn't want to pay for an apartment in the city that was in because the city's kind of uh, there's a lot of crime, a lot of break-ins and burglaries in the t in the town that the college is in. So uh, that didn't work out. So I went and worked um, at uh, the place where my my mom and my stepdad both work for the summer, and uh, tried to make some money there. And <laughs> I got my possession, and that basically took a large portion of the money I'd saved up out of my pocket. So. I wasn't able to go back this year, so <laughs> I uh, basically before I before I decided to transfer, I I drank a lot, like I partied um, almost every night, and it really sucked. And 
it, just don't do that <laughs> when you go to college. I mean, drinking on the weekend's fine, but make sure you do your homework before you go and drink because uh, that's that's a mistake I made. And I, I really hope that not a lot of people, not a lot of other people will make that mistake. But, um, but yeah, the, the, this past year uh, is actually, I think, January 9th. Um, my my mom and my stepdad got foreclosed and I was planning on going back to school this year but I had to chip in I had to you know pay for stuff I had to buy our stove I had to just spend all this money that I wasn't planning on spending and it really put you know it put a kink in my plan here I uh back off that gunfight because I knew I was gonna die and detonate gets his mob there I get mine but anyways, back to the story. Um, but yeah, my my mom and my stepdad, it was out of nowhere really because um, my my parents had got a new loan from their bank, and they they were expecting you know a, a call or something from the other or from the bank the, about this new loan. They never got it, and. Apparently the bank didn't do anything and it, they decided to foreclose our house. So we actually had to move into a a basically I'm living in a house where that we lease and basically just pay per month. Um it's actually a bigger house than what we had, <laughs> but uh, it kind of sucks because there's times where I have to, you know, chip in on the on the payments and stuff just because um, they don't have the the greatest paying jobs, but uh, they still make it by. And uh, my mom's pretty much been able to do that. She actually raised me for a loan for about six years of my life, and along with my two brothers and my sister. So uh, basically, I'm telling you this story because uh, I've learned to never take anything for granted now, because. Um, in college, you know, I, my dad had give me, given me a credit card, and basically I used it selfishly. Um, I would spend, you know, 200 bucks a month on food and beer and alcohol, and it, it was a huge mistake. And there's the past couple years of my life have been kind of rough, I won't lie. Uh, it just, it's really sucked, but um, I'm back on track now. Don't worry. Um, hopefully going back to school uh, 13th. But if not, it will be next year because I am not going to <laughs> live in my parents' house anymore, any longer because this it sucks. Because the town I live in, is, all my friends are gone. I, I don't talk to anyone in high school. Like I know some some guys that are out of college, a lot of them talk to like their high school buddies that still haven't graduated yet and I pick up a nice multi killer here sexy but um but yeah I just want to tell you the story never take anything for granted and uh, that's pretty much part of my new year's resolution uh just just don't don't expect everything to fall into place for you and don't don't you know there's the guy that goes for 40 or 0 and 42 but don't, yeah, just don't take things for granted. I, I said it enough. And um, if you want to leave your New Year's resolution in the comments, that'd be pretty cool to read those. Uh, and uh, I'll see you guys later.